So let's just see how we can find the next smaller element with the help of one stack. So this is our given array with five elements. Now here for each element we have to find the next smaller element in the array. So here you can see for the element 4 next smaller element is 2. So in the resultant array we have the result 2. Now for the element 5 we have the next smaller element as 2. Now for the element 2 there is no next smaller element so here the output will be negative 1. For the number 10 there is next smaller element is 8 and for the number 8 there is no more elements left so the result will be negative 1. So this is our resultant array. Now let's just see how we can perform the same efficiently with the help of one stack. So here is the approach to find the next smaller element. So initially our resultant array will be empty and also we need one stack and the top pointer will point to negative 1 because initially our stack will be empty. Now here we're gonna start from the rightmost element of the given array. So we're gonna use the stack so here we have the stack which will store the next smaller element for each element. Now here we are going to perform for each element of our given array. So first of all we are going to work with this element 8. So first of all we are going to check if the stack is empty or not. So if the stack is empty that means there is no smaller element so the result will be negative 1. So currently our stack is empty so here the result will be negative 1. And after that we are going to push the current element onto our stack. So that means we are going to push this element 8 into our stack. So now we are going to work with the next element. So, so now we are going to work with the element 10. So for the number 10 first of all we are going to check if the stack is empty or not. So you can see the stack is not empty. If the stack has elements so in that case we are going to pop the elements from the stack that are greater than or equal to the current element. So current element is 10. So if the stack top is greater than or equal to the current element 10, in that case we are gonna pop them. So 8 is not greater than 10 so we don't have to pop it. So this will be the next smaller element. So the next smaller element will be at the top of the stack. So here the result will be 8. And now we are gonna push this current element 10 on the top of the stack. And now we are gonna work with this element 2. So here the stack is not empty. So here we are gonna perform the comparison. So here we are gonna check if the stack top is greater than or equal to the value 2 or not. So because the stack top is greater than or equal to the current element 2. So we have to pop this top element. So after popping the top element so the new top element will be 8. Again we are gonna perform the comparison. So again you can see the top element is greater than or equal to the number 2. So again we have to pop this top element also and now our stack is empty. So because the stack is empty so the result will be negative 1 because our stack is empty. Now we are gonna push the current element onto the stack so the 2 will be pushed onto our stack. Now we are gonna work with the element 5. So we are gonna check if the stack top element is greater than or equal to 5 or not. So you can see stack top is not greater than or equal 5. That means this is the next smaller element for the current value 5. So here the result will be 2. And then we are gonna push that current element into the stack. So here we are gonna push the current element. And next we are gonna work with the element 4. Because the stack is not empty so we are gonna perform the comparison. So we are gonna check if the stack top is greater than or equal to 4. The 5 is greater than 4 so we have to pop this from our stack so the new top element will be this value 2. So again we are gonna perform the comparison. So here the top element is not greater than or equal to 4. So that means this is the next smaller element for the current value 4. So here the result will be 2. And this way we are gonna get this resultant array which contains the next smaller element for all the elements in our given array. So here is the code. So first of all we have created one stack and then this is our resultant array. And we have the top pointer which is initially pointing to negative 1. Now here we have the function to find the next smaller element. So which takes the given array as a parameter and the size of the array. So first of all we are going to initialize the resultant array with negative 1. So all the elements of our resultant array will have the value negative 1. And now we are going to traverse our given array 
from the right to the left so we're gonna start from n minus 1 that means from the last position of the array till the beginning of the array when i is greater than or equal to 0 now here we're gonna run the loop so as long as the stack is not empty and the stack top element is greater than the current element then we're gonna pop the top element so we're gonna pop all the top elements which has the value greater than the current value because we are finding the next smaller element so when we are done with this loop so when the loop ends then if the stack top is not empty then we have the value in the top of the stack which is lesser than the current value so that will be the result so we're gonna store the stack top value into our resultant array because this will be the next smaller element for the current value once we're done with that then we're gonna push the current element into our top of the stack and this way we're gonna iterate the loop for all the elements now once the loop ends then we're gonna have the resultant array then we can print the resultant array so here in the main method we have the given array now here we're gonna call the function next smaller element and here we're gonna pass the given array and the size of the array so this is our resultant array which contains the next smaller element for all the elements in the given array so this resultant array is exactly same as we have calculated here so that means our function is working properly so this way we can efficiently find the next smaller element with the help of one stack so hope you understand the concept see you in the next one take care